I just got a call from the shop. It seems they have an assignment that's suited to my talents. Whatever it is, it must be pretty important. I have an appointment to meet the shop's director and the assistant director this afternoon at their main office in Texas. They have armories and operations all over the world, disguised as legitimate businesses, like Goldberg's used books. The shop is dedicated to the preservation of peaceful society and a staunch enemy of terrorism. While they know no allegiance to any government, they hire themselves out to countries that have need of their unique services. Some would say they're in the business of solving problems. The kind of problems that just don't seem to go away. I'll be interested to see what they have for me this time. The director is expecting you, Mr. Mullins. Check in with security at the front desk. They'll issue your security pass. Hey, John. Nice job in Germany. Welcome back, Mr. Mullins. I'm sorry to hear about Hoffman. Yeah. Here's your security pass. Uh, Assistant Director Wilson is waiting for you in the bubble. It's the secure conference room on the second floor. I assume you know the way. I'll manage. Thanks. Sign this for me, sir. What is it, Hanson? A time off request. Ah, going on vacation next month. Yes, sir. Loading up the family for a cross country drive. Welcome you back, John. It's good to see you. you. Sure, you want me to sign this? <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you, sir. Have a good time, Hanson. Sir, you can't go that way. Now make sure when you log on, you use the new password. The old one is no longer valid. Yeah, just when I start to remember the new password, they go and change it again. Happens every month for security reasons. You'll get used to it. Yep, thanks. I guess we can't keep things too secret around here, huh? Secrecy is what we're all about. Let me know if it locks you out again. Will do. Thanks. I'm sorry, sir. You're not authorized to enter this area. You don't have the proper clearance. Please move along. This is a restricted area. No one enters without clearance. Alternate channel to make sure we aren't being interest. piggybacked. Check. Tell him I need it on this week, but no later than Friday. Check the alternate channel to make sure we aren't being piggybacked. Check. Gentlemen. All right. One, two, 
three, go. We're expecting you inside. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm John Mullins. Good to meet you, John. We've heard a lot about you. I'm Assistant Director Aaron Wilson, and this is the shop's director, Anthony Michaels. Mr. Wilson? Mr. Michaels? You can call me Tony. I believe you've already met Dr. Pyotr Ivanovich. Doctor, it's been a long time. Indeed it has. Ten years, I believe. I've been working with the shop for some time. Surprising our paths haven't crossed before now. Now that we're all acquainted. Are you aware of the upcoming World Trade Meeting in Switzerland, John? Yes, of course. Diplomats are flying in from all over the world. Exactly. And the perfect target for a terrorist attack. The shop is on high alert. We want to be ready for anything. Where do I fit in? We have reason to believe my old protege, Dmitry Sestrogor, is developing a new wave of biochemical weapons. Your experience and success in these matters makes you the perfect man for the job. There was a incident in northern Colombia recently. An incident? Doctor, please explain. Apparently, a rebel faction is using viral weapons on civilians to coerce the Colombian government into making concessions to their cause. We want you to go down there and investigate. You need to find out who's behind these attacks, and more importantly, where they're getting these bioweapons. All signs point to Sestrogor, though we can't prove it yet. The biopreparat as an organization has been dormant for the most part over the past ten years, but weapons developed by Dr. Sestrogor have been linked to terrorist activities around the world. This man is extremely dangerous, and we need to know if he's involved. What are the specifics of the operation? Do you have reason to believe these Colombian rebels have interest in the World Trade Meeting? Sorry, John. You're on a need-to-know basis. We want you to fly down there and check it out. Upon successful insertion, our agents will brief you in the field. I'm getting tired of all this secrecy. Either you people trust me or you don't. If you don't trust me, pay me my kill fee and I'm out of here. Easy, John. If our security protocols are violated, your mission could be jeopardized. You don't want to risk that, do you? The shop is in the business of secrecy. It's what's kept us going all these years, and it's helped keep you alive. If you're not interested, we can always find someone else. That won't be necessary. When do I leave? Immediately. There's a chopper outside waiting to take you to the Nimitz. Taylor, it's good to see you again. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, John. I was about to ask you the same question. I'm sure you two can get reacquainted when you meet up in Colombia. Security, Mr. Mullins is on his way. See that he gets where he needs to go. Yes, sir. I'll meet you in Colombia, John. Good luck, John. Thank you, Doctor. We'll be in touch. Taylor, I'll see you soon. Be careful, John. <laughs> 